Hey everyone, I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain HVMC, and this is our sub $300 Adventure Touring Helmet Buyer's Guide. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. So today you can see on the table, I have five great Adventure Touring Helmets, and the great part about all of these is they are all sub $300. So if you're shopping for a helmet and you're on a budget, well, this will give you a good starting point, kind of help steer you in the right direction. Now remember, if you see one helmet or a couple that you like, you can watch the product spotlights where we go through these in full detail. So give those a watch. Also, a little bit of advice I can give. What I think is one of the best places to get information on any helmet is from people who actually own them. So on the product page, if you ask questions there, you will get answers from customers who have bought and are using these helmets that we have on the table. If you own one of these, nothing would make me happier. Leave your comments below, let us know which one you have, and give us your feedback on it. That's going to help other riders out. So without further ado, let's get started with helmet number one. All right, so to get started, first helmet in the lineup is the Sierra 2 from Manil Racing. Now, what I love about the Sierra 2 is the price point. You're $134, so it's a very affordable helmet to get into. And at that price point, you're DOT and ECE certified. You're a polycarbonate shell, very comfortable helmet. It's actually one thing I noticed about this. I like the comfort liner on the inside. Fitment's true to size. Now, remember, all helmets are in a pair lineup, so if you get one, if you're not happy with the size of fit, send it back in brand new, unused condition. We'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. We want to make sure you get the size and the fit that you're looking for. But Fairly lightweight for an adventure touring helmet, especially at that price point. It's got a fair amount of venting, not as much as some of the others in the lineup, but it's enough, I think, to get you by. But one feature I think is great, especially at this price, is you have a drop-down sun visor. Not all adventure touring helmets have that. I'm a fan of that feature, so you don't have to worry about maybe having sunglasses or swapping out shields when you're out riding. So again, 134 bucks. This is the Sierra 2 from O'Neill Racing. The DSX-1, this is the next helmet in our lineup from HJC. Now the DSX-1 comes in at price point about $160. Bucks. So you do bump up a little bit from the O'Neill, but there are some differences between the two that I do want to point out. So a size large comes in at 3 pounds, 11 ounces, so a little bit heavier. Your DOT certified, again, polycarbonate shell, size medium for me, fits spot on. It's actually a really comfortable helmet. But here are some of the differences from that CR2 that we just showed you. We talk about the venting. The vents on the top of this helmet will open and close. On the CR2, they were just stuck open, so that is something to consider. Also, when you look at the visor, the visor does have some adjustability. So if you do want to tilt it forward just a little bit to block the sun, you have the ability to do so. And the last thing I want to point out is with the visor, for riders that maybe want to do some dual sport riding, hit the off-road and just rock a pair of goggles, you can take the shield off and rock the visor just by itself. So you have a little bit more modularity than what we showed you with that CR2 from O'Neill. But in any case, rock solid helmet. Again, this is the DSX-1 from HJC. The FX41 is next on our list coming from AFX. Now price point on this helmet, you bump up just a little bit from the HJC, about 165 bucks. But there's a lot of features that are packed into this. You're going to be DOT and ECE certified polycarbonate shell. For me, fit was true to size, very comfortable helmet. But here's what to me really stands out. You've got 17 points of ventilation, so it's got the most venting of all the helmets that we've shown you today. A lot of these vents will open and close. The visor is adjustable just like the HJC. And with this helmet, you can also remove that shield and wear as an off-road helmet with goggles. Or what's nice is you can take the visor off. They have a little side place to cover up the holes with the visor mounts. So you can wear this as a street helmet as well. And on top of that, like the O'Neill helmet that we showed you earlier, you actually do have a drop-down sun visor included in this helmet as well. My only knock on the FX41 is the weight because you're four pounds, two ounces in a size large. So it is the heaviest helmet in our lineup. But aside from that, a lot of great features at the price point. Again, it's the FX41 from AFX. All right, fourth up on the list is the MX-9 Adventure with MIPS coming from Bell. It's a helmet that myself, other riders here at Rocky Mountain have used over the years, and we've been really happy with it. And the MX-9 Adventure with MIPS doesn't necessarily stand out in one specific category, but it does everything well. So size larger, 3 pounds, 11 ounces, your DOT and ECE certified, very comfortable, fitment's true to size. It's got a great venting design, however, I do wish the vents on the top, you could close those if you wanted to. But aside from that, one safety feature, or one feature you're not going to see in the other helmets that, that MX-9 Adventure with MIPS has, is the MIPS Liner System. That stands for Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. And what it is, is a low friction barrier that goes between the comfort and the EPS liner to create a slip zone for the rider's head. So in the event of a crash, it helps to reduce and mitigate the rotational force. It's a great safety feature that's built in. And on top of that, one feature I do like about the Bell Helmets, 
five-year manufacturer warranty. So a little bit of added peace of mind when you're making that investment. Again, this is the MX-9 Adventure with MIPS from Bell Helmets. All right, so to finish everything off, we have the EXO AT950 from Scorpion. I think this is one of the best values of any Adventure Touring helmet that is out there. You're about $270 price point, you're DOT certified, five-year manufacturer warranty like we saw from Bell Helmets. Now weight on this, you're three pounds, 14 ounces in size large, so a little bit heavier, but the reason for that extra weight, it's a modular helmet. If you're not familiar with these, it means the chin bar flips up completely out of the way. It's a convenience factor, and typically when you get a modular helmet packed full of features, they are not close to this price point. That's why I think this is such a great value. But on top of that modular design, you've also got some other features I love. Good venting, I love how easy it is to actuate the vent up here on the top, even with a gloved hand, very simple to do. Visor comes off, if you wanna rock this thing as a street helmet, they have little shields that cover up the mounting points. I think it's a good looking helmet in that street configuration. Also, you'll notice that the shield does not have a bevel. All the other helmets that we've shown you today so far have had those. So when you have the shield just barely cracked, you're not having that bevel kind of distort your vision. So I like that it's just a flat face shield. Also, drop down sun visor like we saw some of the other helmets as well. So if that's a feature you like, you're getting it here with the XO18950. So if you are shopping for a modular helmet on a budget, XO18950 is the route to take. All right, everyone, so thanks for watching this top five Adventure Touring Helmet sub 300 bucks. Now remember, if you saw a couple you like, watch the product spotlights to get all the details. If you have questions, leave those below, or you can ask those on the product page, get your answers from customers who own these helmets. And to pick one up, you can click on the link or head over to rockymonatvmc.com. Remember, orders over 75 bucks ship free, which means all of these ship free. And if you guys like this top five, you wanna see more just like it, get subscribed to our YouTube channel because we cover all the major categories for Adventure Touring Riding. I am Chase. We'll see you on the trails.